All right, guys, I'm coming to you a little early because we did just get breaking news from Eurogamer. They have now gone on record saying that Metroid Prime 4 is being worked on by Bandai Namco. Specifically, it is being worked on by Bandai Namco Singapore, where those developers from Star Wars 1313, the ones that came over from LucasArts, are working. So it looks like it is happening. It is being worked on by Bandai Namco, probably alongside their internal studio. Now this was confirmed to them through multiple sources and they are saying it is still in relatively early development, meaning we shouldn't expect it this year. That tells me personally that Pokemon is coming out this year. I think one of those big two had to come out pretty much this year. I think that's Pokemon. Metroid appears to be falling to 2019, so don't expect that at, at all this year. The fact that we are seeing Metroid Prime 4 being worked on by Bandai, Bandai Namco, we can officially start really talking about that as being a thing. Uh, they have confirmed it through their multiple sources, and they've posted on their site and pretty much gone on record. So to me, I, I, I'm pretty confident saying Bandai Namco is working on Metroid Prime 4, specifically again, Bandai Namco Singapore. Now, if you of course have no idea what, what I'm talking about right now, when we talked about this, it was on a previous news wave, check the card uh, above me now, and you can go check that out. It was pretty much something that Dr. 81, a YouTuber found on LinkedIn, and pretty much kind of put two and two together, as, as most people when they saw the LinkedIn profile started to kind of put that together, that a, a an unannounced uh, action, or an unannounced first person shooter adventure game sounds an awful lot like Metroid Prime, and that appears to be what it is because they were working, apparently, according to them, in conjunction with Nintendo, pitching ideas, level design, all, storyboarding, all this stuff. So uh, look forward, apparently, to Bandai Namco. Again, people who worked in LucasArts with Star Wars 1313 to be working on this, that gets me very excited because they were, like I said, they're pretty talented over there, and now they're gonna be working alongside Nintendo with Metroid Prime for early, early development. Again, don't expect it this year. This looks to be a, a 2019, probably a holiday, 2019 game if I had to take a guess at this point if it is this early in development now Eurogamer also mentioned that there there may be uh, a, a spot for the trilogy to come over to the switch great idea by the way I, I think that'd be an awesome idea to help get fans caught up with the series people who have missed out on it and as we've seen Nintendo has no problem porting games to the switch just in case people need to get caught up and maybe missed it keep in mind Metroid Prime 1 and 2 were GameCube games the third one of course was Wii game and then the trilogy did come over to the to the Wii as well. So there are people who are probably out of the loop with Metroid Prime and I would love to see them get caught up. That would give Metroid Prime 4 every chance possible to do really well and sell a ton of copies. So what do you guys think about Bandai Namco working with Nintendo now on Metroid Prime 4? I think it's pretty set in stone here with Eurogamer uh, doing a great job going out multiple sources, uh, pretty much telling them the exact same thing. We've seen the LinkedIn profiles. Everything does point to Metroid Prime 4 being a Bandai Namco Nintendo collaboration. So let me know what you think guys down in the comments below. I just wanted to bring you this piece of news since it was kind of ongoing since we talked about those LinkedIn profiles that Doc Trey managed to find. And I'm sure, I was pretty much positive at the time that Eurogamer or Kotaku or somebody was probably gonna start reaching out and, uh, and finding this information. Again, the article is down in the description if you wanna check it out. And also leave the link down in the description if you wanna check out the previous video that we did for it in Newswave. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.